Hello everyone, uh, myself Dr. Tarpan Shah and today I am going to share with you all regarding how to do the scientific paper and the poster presentation. Now, uh, as a researcher, as a postgraduate student or even as a faculty, anywhere you need to do some, uh, some or the other times paper or the poster presentation for your professional upgrade, uh, upgradation or maybe as a part of your API criteria of the UGC if you are in India, you need to go ahead with doing the different paper or the poster presentation. Now first thing you have to remember before you go for the uh, you know submission of your uh, abstract for the paper or the poster presentation, you must do the registration in the conference in which you are going to do the presentation. Otherwise they will not allow you to, they will not accept your abstract and they will not allow you to do the presentation. So first and foremost for the registration format, when you are sending the abstract to any of the journal, uh, any of the uh, conference, the abstract should contain the title of your study, that means the research problem, name of the presenter, okay, maybe one, two or more than that and you have to mark with the star that who is going to do the presentation, uh, maybe a platform or a poster in the conference. Qualifications, name and the address of the institutions to which you are uh, associated, category, very important, under which category you are going to do the presentation, maybe a UG, PG, faculty, uh, clinical therapist, etc. Then type of presentation, oral presentation, platform presentation, simple poster presentation, e-poster presentation and so on. Always mention about your contact number, email address and the abstract maybe in the word format or if you want you can convert it into the PDF and then also you can send. But only th uh, see to that, uh, go with the guidelines very uh, frequently and see to that it is not going uh, more than the number of words which the scientific committee of the organizing uh, conference have asked for. And always see the abstract is containing the background of the study, objectives of the study, methodology, results, conclusion and keywords which is very important. Some uh, uh, conference people they give you the guidelines even regarding the fonts that you use only Times New Roman with the title of 14 in a size and the text in a 12 number in a size and uh, no use of the italics or the bold font. An abstract should be sent to the given email address uh, which is uh, of any of the scientific committee member or a common email address prepared for the entire uh, scientific committee. And some websites in that you have to just upload uh, your uh, word document or PDF document for submission of the abstract. And always remember that you are not crossing the deadlines. So before the deadlines you have to send the abstract. Then most of the time the notice of acceptance or the re uh, rejection will be sent via the email or maybe they will give you the text message or uh, maybe they will inform you through the telephonic also conversation. Uh, so uh, within the 10 days generally they inform us but some people they inform us very quickly, some people they may take little more time. Just suppose you are not getting the confirmation or the rejection uh, email then you can put an email and ask that kindly give the status of my uh, uh, word document or the uh, for the presentation which I have sent the abstract kindly update me about my status so you can prepare it in a very well way. Always remember be prepared in advance always remember go as per the strict guidelines which is given to you don't try to deviate when it is a scientific presentation yes if it is a presentation which don't have any guidelines you can add your own you know creative animations and so many new things you can do but here you have to strictly follow the guidelines number of slides say for the presentation is restricted to 10 you should restrict it to the 10 if, if the time is limited suggest so 5 minutes don't try to exceed the time if you are giving a 4 minutes of presentation that's fine but never uh, go beyond the time Another thing, highlight the important points okay? and your presentation has to be up to the mark. You have to be dressed well, you have to do a practice for so many times. The only success uh, uh, you know, for the uh, good presentation is to do the practice again, again and again and deliver your best within that particular stipulated period of time. Otherwise what may happen uh, like you know, uh, your scientific content, the research is superb. But if you are not able to present as per the guidelines, perhaps 
uh, you may not uh, win the prize or perhaps uh, you are not able to fulfill the criteria of the judges on the criteria on which uh, they select the candidate okay so mostly they give three prizes in all the categories like ortho physiotherapy three prizes neuro uh, cardiopulmonary or like that okay and abstracts of only selected platform presentations and titles selected for the poster presentation only those articles or only those candidates material will be uh, published in the souvenir if they are releasing on that particular conference so others it may not be uh, published and all the authors who is going to do the scientific presentation they must register their name okay before they are sending their abstract okay now poster presentation okay poster presentation uh, is generally done by the student okay ug pg students and if you go to the big conference international uh, in that uh, few of the therapists even with a good experienced therapist they would like to share their knowledge in the form of the poster and at that time what i feel we have to follow all the criteria of the uh, you know preparation of the poster uh, and along with that okay we need to go with the more of the graphical representation and we have to see to that we are uh, you know following each and every guidelines which is given to us for example poster has to be presented on any theme like physiotherapy modern trends and practice so we have to restrict ourselves only to that particular theme then uh, some people they give the uh, size for the preparation of the poster say 3 feet wide and uh, 4 feet tall and material only you can use the vinyl flex seats so only that we have to restrict ourselves then participants guide or any other individuals name it should not be appear anywhere in the poster which you are going to do the uh, presentation okay and generally uh, in any conference they give around 5 minutes for judging one particular poster so you give your best within that 5 minutes then only uh, you know uh, it will be an effective presentation from your side so it is always a good credit for any individual to do uh, or do the presentation or present your research work in any conference or any platform it is a way to share the knowledge and it is a way of uh, learning as well and uh, even we can learn many things by attending the different conferences and the workshops so uh, this is the few important guidelines which i have given you based on my experience i did a presentation in many of the conferences and i have won the prizes as well but still i am very new to this particular field and uh, i consider myself as an encapsulation phase okay so let me consider myself as an expert okay so i hope these guidelines will be helpful to you and uh, all the best if you are doing the scientific paper or the poster presentation any time in your professional career thank you very much for your patience listening